What's up YouTube? I'm gonna make a really quick video because I don't really have a lot of time today, but um, I got a big box of cards from my stepmom out in California. Um, a lot of uh, my dad's cards, some of her dad's cards too, I think. And I went through one of these shoe boxes that just had cards everywhere in it, like really quick. And um, yeah, I'll show you guys some of the cool stuff. There's a few Cal Ripkins. Most of it's junk wax. There's some vintage, some 1972s, but most of it's 80s and 90s. A whole bunch of Ricky Hendersons. These weird star ones. I don't like them. Silver Slugger. And then, like, these Pepsi ones. I don't, I don't know what these are from, but they're pretty cool. Another one. And the 1991 Leaf Preview card. Um, this really cool Don Mattingly. I don't think I have this one. I think, I'm pretty sure I have this one, but I don't too. And then this is the oldest Ivan Rodriguez card I have now. That's his second sophomore year, whatever you want to say. It's not as rookie. Still pretty cool though. Um, some Daryl Strawberry, which none of these I have. This one's a 87, and this one is a 90. Um, a bunch of random cars. Mark McGuire, Matt Williams, Will Clark. Will Clark, Juan Gon, Mike Greenwell, Mike Piazza, Ryan Sandberg, uh, John Elway. There are some football ones in here too, and I'm pretty sure I got an Emmett Smith rookie. Oh, here's another Daryl Strawberry. Oh, another Ricky Henderson too. Another Ricky Henderson. Dan Marino, Nolan Ryan, Wade Boggs. Um, also, is in here is these tickets. Here's one from July 19th, 1991. Oakland A's versus the New York Yankees. It's pretty cool. And then these, I don't know what these are from, but um, tribute to Ricky Henderson ticket and a tribute to Nolan Ryan ticket. I don't know what they're for. If there are tickets that you got when you went to a game or something. I don't have a date on them. Oh, 1991. Those are pretty cool. Um, so many of these Mother's Cookies cards, too, that are still in the little wrapper. Nolan Ryan's and some other people. Um, oh yeah, if anybody knows if this is Emmett Smith's rookie, it's got like goop on the bottom of it, but I mean I really don't care because I'm not going to sell it or anything, but it looks like it's, it says drafted in the first round, 17th overall, the 1990 draft, and this is a 1991 upper deck, so I'm guessing it's not his rookie, but Pretty dang close. Really cool. Um, oh yeah, some other really cool stuff. Got a uh, Future Stars Dave Henderson from, what is it, 82? 82. Really cool. I did not know he played for the Mariners at one point. Uh, some Jose Canseco's Martin McGuire, uh, 1972. I want to say. A's team card. Super ugly cards, but that's really cool. Um, Vita, Vita Blue, however you say it, that one's really cool. Two. Um, oh, yeah. Um, so, 
really quick. And then a uh, 72 stolen base leaders, Lou Brock and Burt Campanaris. I like that one for the Burt Campanaris guy. That's really cool. A Rafael Palmiro rated rookie. Seems to have developed a collection of this guy's cards lately. And really cool. Um, Sammy Sosa, rookie, well, upper deck rookie anyway, I have the tops one, and the Fleer one, but yeah, that's really cool, so I almost have all of the, I think I need the Leaf, and I think there's another one, I'm not sure, Score or something, but really cool, yeah, so, uh, that is like most of the cool stuff. Oh yeah, keep finding a lot of puzzle pieces. It's always been my dream to finish one of these and get it framed and hung up. So eventually, hopefully, I can complete these Donruss, these stupid leap Donruss puzzles. Um, yeah, I still got a lot of stuff to go through. We got the 1989 Upper Deck Complete Set. Of course, my I'm pretty sure my dad got these just for the, you know, the, you know, Ken Griffey Jr. rookie that's in here, and he has, like, okay, um, so, 89 Griffey is not in here, and I have the 82 Donra set, and the Ripken rookie is not in here, and it's because he took all of these, like, rookies out of here and hung them up in a frame in one of the rooms at his house, and so all the, like, cards like flagship cards out of these sets are not in there they're in that frame so hopefully one of these days I'll get that frame so I can have all those really cool cards and they'll all be like hung up in frame for me but yeah but these are really cool they're still really want to see if I have time I don't know if the camera's gonna cut off before I can do it but There's a bunch of cards that are sleeved in here. Jim Palmer. Pete Rose, Nolan Ryan, Dave Rigetti, George Brett, Bob Welch, Carl Yastrzemski, which I've never had any of his cards before, so it's really cool that I can have some now. Ricky Henderson. These are all, yeah, they're decently centered. I was thinking since it was a factory set, they'd be like perfect and I could get them. Is this a rookie? I could get them, no, it's not a rookie. But I could get them TSA graded. Some of them are, I guess, decent. So Mike Schmidt looks really young now, Kirk Gibson. Another Nolan Ryan. Eddie motherfucking Murray. That's a really cool one. Um, Carlton Fisk. Reggie Jackson. Yeah. So these are ones are all in sleeves. I don't know if that's because these are like the good ones out of the set or what. But I have the full set minus the Ripken. <laughs> which is in my dad's uh, baseball card frame. And there's a lot of puzzle pieces. Oh, here's another sleeve card. Oh. <laughs> it is the San Diego Chicken. I don't know if this is the first year they did that or what, but... You can get relics of that guy now. You can get... Jersey relics of the San Diego chicken. So many cards. So many people I've never heard of. If anybody knows what other rookies, I mean, I guess I could just look it up. Any other rookies from this set that are uh, popular, let me know. I don't know much about the players from this era. I know about Ripken.
<laughs> uh, the 81 Donruss set two. Um, Johnny Bench, Mike Schmidt. I don't know what other rookies are. There's another Crawley Strzemski. I don't know what rookies are. I don't know there's a really cool Eddie Murray. <sighs> Eddie motherfucking Murray. I don't know what other, um, there's a cool Pete Rose. So, yeah. Rod Carew. I don't have any Rod Carew cards, so. Bam. There's the first one of many I'm sure I will have after I go through all these. Johnny Bench. Andre Dawson, Carly Stremski, Cool Reggie Jackson, on the stupid Yankees though, boo, so yeah, um, got a lot of these sets, I got 91 Donruss, which, <laughs> very ugly cards, oh, these, but, still pretty cool, um, this one actually, oh, this one's really crazy because uh, this one, if I can show it to you guys, is not even opened. They're still all in the packs, but I guess like they come come in. So these are completely never been opened, which is crazy. Jay Buhner, Matt Williams, Andres Galarraga, Louis Polonia, Cecil Fielder, Jose Canseco, Barry Bonds. So yeah, I don't know if that makes them more valuable, but knowing me, I'm probably going to open them because I can't. I need to feel the cards. <laughs> I don't like having things sealed. Like whenever there's um there's a pack of basketball cards somewhere in one of these boxes from like '93, and I'm like, should I open it? I have to open it. I can't leave it. So there will be a video of me opening up that old basketball card pack. Um, what's in this one? Oh, okay. What's this one? Ninety one top or upper deck? I'm guessing this is just ninety and ninety one upper deck. Either that or the full. Anyways, yeah, this is like well, there's a bunch of sleeve cards in here too. Um, 90 and 91 upper deck. Steve Avery rookie, Will Clark, Jose Canseco, Ricky Henderson, Mark McGuire, Ken Griffey Jr., Royce Clayton, top prospect, Gary Sheffield. Some of these names I've never even heard of. I'm guessing they didn't turn out to be very good. And this is just like prospecting or something. Scott Champarino, star rookie. I never heard of him. Wade Boggs, never not just kidding. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a binder too. It has a bunch of stuff in it. Mostly 91 upper deck. Pages are kind of stuck together. 91 Donruss. 1990 Don or 1989 Donruss. Ooh, I did not notice this when I looked through it the first time. Yeah, that one I feel like I don't know if it's worth getting PSA graded or anything but Randy Johnson rated rookie really nice 
<laughs> I did not notice that. Ken Griffey Jr. I was really hoping to come across a um, Chipper Jones rookie or a or a um, Derek Jeter or something like that, but most of the stuff ends at like 91. There's a few mid-90s ones, but... Sammy Sosa, I actually have that one already. Willie Stargell. I don't know why these things are so stuck together. Yeah, it's mostly 91. There's a Ricky Henderson. Will Clark, Jim Abbott with his one hand, King Rookie Jr. Here's some rookies. Uh, Jose Offerman, rookie. Sorry, this video is really long. Um, yeah, I haven't had much time to really go through it all yet. Um, Another quick question to everybody out there is, how, what do you do with your cards, uh, especially people who are putting together sets, that's kind of what I've been doing lately. Do you keep the whole set together, or do you take out like the guys you PC and just have the rest of the cards in the set? Because I've been taking out all the guys I PC and I just like run out of room in binders because there's just so much cards. I just need to get more storage, I guess, but... Um, what do you do? Do you keep the whole set together or do you take out like your favorite cards and then leave the rest of it there and put uh, your favorite cards in another thing? Or what do you do? Craig Vigio. Not the rookie, but pretty cool. Tony Gwynn, Kirby Puckett, Daryl Strawberry, Will Clark, Kirby Puckett. But yeah, John Smoltz. That's that. Um, oh, there's a Mark McGuire card. Just randomly there. King Griffey Sr., Bobby Vanilla, or Bonilla, however you want to say it. When he played for the Pirates, that was pretty cool. My dad in that framed thing that my dad had that has a Bobby Bonilla. Um, Ricky in there. Chris Sabo. Ozzy Smith. Yep. Um, so that's that for today. There's a whole other box I flipped through last night. And it's really cool because it's in alphabetical order. And so I'm thinking of taking all my junk wax PC guys and just inserting them into that box. Here, hold on. Into this box because it's already like organized out pretty much. So putting all my, you know, Barry Bonds, Ken Griffey, Martin McGuire, Jose Canseco, all those guys, just sliding them into this box where they go in here and maybe taking out all the ones I don't really collect and put them somewhere else. Oh yeah, one last thing. These, these were in, these were in um, the, well, the shoe box that's over here. It's full of random football stuff. And um, they are Terminator 2 cards. And uh, I went through them. I mean, I don't know who would collect these stupid cards, but like, like these, the Walking Dead cards. I love the Walking Dead. I'm not going to collect the cards because it's just dumb. It's just like pictures of scenes from, you know, the show or the movie with a little quote on the bottom of it. But these, I feel like these have to be like the all-stars. Like, these should be, like, the rookies or, like, the cards, the parallels, the relics or whatever you want for the autographs, the hits. We have a Hasta La Vista Baby card. And we have a Come With Me If You Want To Live card. <laughs> so those are kind of cool. But, yeah, um, 
I don't know what. Old men and Nolan Ryan, man, I swear. Every old guy I know that's in, that was into baseball, is into baseball, is all about Nolan Ryan. <laughs> propane and propane accessories. <laughs> Texas. Um, yeah, this is the whole Nolan Ryan Career Series Coca Cola cards from Donruss 92. Coca Cola. Which I have a lot of these. So. Anyways, yeah, that's most of. Oh, yeah, and there's. Sorry, guys. I'm just dragging on, but I don't know what these came from. They're... It really shows, like, how obsessed people were with, like, Beckett and price guides and getting. This is, uh, looks like, I don't know what year that looks like. It would be from an old year, an old tops year, like 70s or 60s or something. And it's got Craig Biggio on it, so you know it's not that old. And on the back it has pocket price guides, like how much Craig Biggio cards are worth in these years in these sets. And in 1991, a Fleer update of Craig Biggio, 1988 Fleer update, is $1. <laughs> a 1989 score, 40 cents. 1990 Fleer, 10 cents. 1991 tops, 8 cents. Yeah, look up those prices now. Look up those prices now. Those prices are way different. You can I don't know, is it the score one the, 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 is the really nice one that everybody wants, I think? How much is that one, like 10, 20 bucks for one of those, maybe, now? I don't know. Craig Biggio. Alright, um, that's it for now. I gotta eat lunch and get ready for work. And then I have a day off tomorrow, so hopefully I can make another cool video for you guys tomorrow. Um so many cards on. I have nowhere to really put them right now. Well, I mean, I have a room to put them in, but I don't have anywhere to organize them. They're just going to end up in piles on the floor in that other room until I get boxes and stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.